Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome Robert Martin, the Director of Business Development for Telesystem, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. With 18 years experience at Telesystem, Robert's responsibilities include account management, have included account management, sales operations, marketing, and the wholesale department. He also is responsible for the development and execution of the customer experience, as well as the experience that the sales partners have once they are onboarded with Telesystem. Robert, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Hi, Steve. Thank you very much for having me, and thank you for the coveted Top Gun mug. I really appreciate it. Well, yeah, you were saying before we went on the air here that uh, it, you know you, your wife is is uh, obeying every wish and desire. Your kids are obedient. Uh, you know, li life's pretty good with a mug, isn't it? Life is great with the mug. I got the mug in the mail. I didn't know what it was. I hadn't ordered anything. When I opened it up, I had finally seized the moment with the Top Gun mug. <laughs> there you go. You've made it. You've made it. Well, hey, last week, your CRO, Bruce Wirt, gave a high-level overview and explained the unique value proposition and the Hacker Suck campaign. In this interview, I want to dig deeper into the Telesystem strategic efforts. So let's start with Hacker Suck. Uh, where did the Hacker Suck campaign come from? Hackers suck. I got to give all the credit to our marketing team. Um, I'm going to call them out here with uh, with Stephanie Rebell, Steve Staffen, uh, Morgan Hall, and Caitlin Vista. Uh, this team uh, is really a force of small and mighty. Um, we challenged ourselves uh, to come up with something that would draw attention, uh, be a little bit edgy, and, and not be necessarily super corporate, um, and, and really draw eyes, right? So um, I think in, in the general sense of the term hacker, um, it, it is a uh, generally speaks to to people that are out there doing no good uh, behind the scenes, necessarily going into some of the, the software and, and places that they shouldn't belong. They don't belong. Um, and really what we wanted to do was get something that caught the eye of our of our uh, our market, of our customers and, um, you know, kind of draw the attention for for lots of eyes. And I think that the terminology of hashtag hackers suck has kind of taken its way through the uh, the social media sphere and. We've got our T-shirts out there, uh, Hackers Suck, um, and, and it all goes back to, you know, really what we're doing as an organization is trying to take everything from a solution standpoint for our customers, go from the inside out, and really wrap around that cybersecurity, uh, that cybersecurity play that a lot of people that don't have their hands quite wrapped around just yet. Yeah, that's great, man. I love the campaign. I mean, if anybody has a problem with it, they must be a bad hacker. So it, it, it's it's incredible. I love how you're getting outside the box, but you're not you're not pressing it too much. I like it. I like it. Just talk a little bit a little bit more about how hackers suck fits into the telesystem strategic efforts. Yeah. So so really, our strategic efforts are to take a customer take them through a journey with Telesystem, right? We want to provide a positive experience, but in the in addition to providing that positive experience, we want to take the solutions that they have today, figure out what's working for them, what's not working for them, and help to consult them on a journey through this technology world that we live in. Technology changes so quick every single day. And really the, the core part of it is that cybersecurity world. We all know that our, our weakest link are our people, not because they're bad people, but because we've got bad actors out there trying to infiltrate our businesses. And when you get an email that comes across your desk that has a link that says that you need to click on this to approve something, we want to make sure that our customers are educating their employees to know to spot some of those bad informational emails that are coming across. We call them phishing emails um, or spear phishing, right? So there's a lot of that cybersecurity um, stuff out there today that people just are unaware of. Um, it's only starting to continue to get worse and worse. We want to make sure that our customers are informed. They've got the best consultants with the Telesystem team helping to keep them informed and really walk through that technology journey. So it all starts at the basis of that cybersecurity play, and then really it works its way from the inside out. Right. So we've got the opportunity for networking, SD-WAN, voice services, all kinds of a, a whole array of product portfolio that we have. And it really kind of all centered around that cybersecurity, uh, that cybersecurity platform. Yeah, that's great. I love it. I mean, you guys were fantastic before, but once you bought Threat Protector and wove that all in together, I mean, that just put a bow around your entire product offering. So that's cool. That's yeah, cool. Thank you. thank you. 
So what, you know, Hacker Sucks, great. What, what are your plans moving forward with this? You've got your event coming up in early October at AT&T Stadium. What, what, what's next? Where's this thing going? Yeah, so the AT&T Stadium, we're really excited about that um, at, at Dallas Cowboys. Um, so we're going to be doing the Cybersecurity Summit in the post-game press conference room. Um, we're expecting about 200 to 225 attendees in that, uh, in that specific event. Um, our, our attendees are going to have an opportunity to run out on the Dallas Cowboys field with fireworks and the smoke show, everything that you see on Sunday when the Dallas Cowboys are running out of that tunnel is what these folks are going to get to experience. So we're, we're really excited about that. And really what we've done with the Hacker Suck events is we've wrapped them around sports cities because we know that at the heart of people, people love sports, whether it's football, hockey, you name it, people love sports. So what we've been able to do is go to these major cities, rent out these venues, and it becomes a draw for these individuals. So the next set of events is going to be next year. Our marketing team's working on that, what that script looks like. This year, we had a script of an ethical hacker. Um, we went then to Philadelphia with a black hat hack hacker. Hector Monsieger was the uh, was the keynote there. And then in Dallas, we're going to have Scott Augenbaum, who is a retired FBI specialist in the cybercrime division. Um, so for 2024, we're, we're set to probably have another four to six events. And really, we're going to be um, kind of wrapping the same kind of concept around those and, and what our folks can do that are looking to join these events, whether it's in person or virtual. If you go to hackersuck.com, it's got our tour on it. So we're going to be posting the cities that we're going to be in. We're going to have the dates populated there. And then there'll be an opportunity to register at the links that are associated to uh, those individual cities, whether you want to be there in virtual or in person. So hackersuck.com is that is that web domain that you can go to and check those out. That's great, man. You're, you're really combining fun with a lot of great training and stuff. So take my hat off to you and it's going to be a long-term thing. People need that. So that's cool. Hey, Robert, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show. I'm going to ask you a personal question here, but not, not too personal. Yeah. What person dead or alive would you like to meet and what would you ask him or her? And that is a good question, uh, Steve. Uh, so I would say Napoleon Hill. Um, he is an author that I've, I've really come to enjoy his books. He's got a book probably a lot of people know about Think and Grow Rich. I would love to ask him, really, what did he do with his free time? I mean, if you read his books, Think and Grow Rich, they're very thought provoking. They're very analytical. Um, and I'd love to know just what he did when he wasn't in those moments of thought provoking and analytical times. And, and what, what fun did he engage in? I know that that probably sounds a little bit corny. Uh, but but Napoleon Hill's a, a pretty favorite author of mine, and I think that would be a, a cool answer to understand from him. That's great. That's great. Well, I love it. I love it. Very unique. Very unique. Well, Robert, hey, you're a talented guy, man. I, I'm watching what you do, <clears throat> not only with this campaign, but, you know, your tenure at, at Telesystem. I'm a huge fan. And uh, thanks for carving out time out of your busy schedule to be on the Top Gun show. I really appreciate it. Steve, I'm so excited to be able to do this with you. Really appreciate it. And of course, I will always enjoy my coveted mug and I look forward to talking to you soon. Right on. Thanks for watching, everybody.